preparing for senior, our new QCE system and our senior qualifications. What is it that we're working towards achieving at the end of year 12? You're working towards obtaining your senior education profile. When you complete year 12 successfully, you will receive any of the following documents. A statement of results, which is a transcript of your learning account. This outlines all of the subjects that you studied, the results that you actually achieved for them, and any other learning that you've done via certificates or other particular courses that you've studied over your school life. You're also going to be achieving your QCE or your Queensland Certificate of Education. That's the really important one, which says that you have graduated from year 12. Some of you may be working towards a QCIA, which is a Queensland Certificate of Individual Achievement. They are organised on a case-by-case -case basis by Mrs Davis and her team in the ESS unit. That's an example of what each of the documents will look like and they will be sent to you in December of the year that you graduate. So what is a QCE? A QCE is Queensland's Senior Secondary Schooling Qualification. How does it work? Basically, you are working towards achieving a significant amount of learning in a set pattern. At a set standard of achievement, which means you obtain a C or better, you must meet your literacy and numeracy requirements and there is greater flexibility in what you learn, where you learn it and when that learning occurs. That little diagram there shows you your set amount, 20 credits contributing from your courses, which can be your subjects and your VET certificates, a set pattern, 12 credits of those come from what we call completed course study and also the other general areas of core preparatory and complementary. A set standard means that you must pass all of your subjects and complete all of your certificates fully. And to meet the literacy and numeracy requirements, you must pass English and maths or complete a certificate to in skills for work and vocational pathways. And it is based on you achieving 20 credits. That table there will show you exactly how many credits can be achieved from the various courses and subjects that you study and how many units you study them for. You will be able to have a look at that in more detail later and I'm also able to help you understand that table if you're not sure. To meet your literacy and numeracy requirements, generally we pass maths and English which is the best way to obtain that particular tick in the QCE. The Certificate 2 in Skills for Work and Vocational Pathways is also an option. Some of you may do some recognised studies later on that are listed as meeting those literacy and numeracy requirements. So how do we achieve our QCE? First of all, we need to start Year 11 off on the right foot. Basically, from day one, you need to commit yourself to your study and to doing your homework. You need to meet all of your deadlines for assessment in all of your subjects. You need to have a productive study area at home set up and what's more, you need to use it. You also need to have a weekly time management plan in place. You need to have one that works for you and you need to follow it. There is an example of one in your study planner, I believe. If not, I have a template which I do with students and I'm very, very happy to help you do that if you're not sure how to get started. You need to set yourself a realistic goal for each term and reward yourself when you have achieved those goals. Those goals need to be small, they need to be achievable and they need to be something that helps you work towards getting your QCE. You need to start working very closely with your teachers in all of your subjects to help you pass every unit in year 11 because every unit that you pass will get you one credit towards your QCE and you're working towards achieving that magic number of 20 by the time you finish year 12. If you fail a unit, you automatically lose one of your QCE credits. So it's very important that you work closely with your teachers to help you pass. We do have some free tutoring uh, for some of our subjects after school. 
Obviously, English and maths being the most important, but there are also some other subjects that offer tutoring. So talk to your teachers about those if you're not sure.